Hey fellow foodies, this month I will take you on a tour of Malaysian cuisine. The most famous dish and their national dish is nasi lemak, which means fatty rice. The rice is cooked with coconut milk, which gives it that wonderful aroma and rich texture. I'm cooking 4 cups of rice in my rice cooker or you can do it on the stove top as well. Make sure to wash your rice a few times before cooking. I'm adding a few slices of ginger and a handful of pandan leaves that I tied so it will be easier to take out later. If you can't find pandan, you can substitute with lemongrass to give it that distinct aroma. Don't forget to add a pinch of salt and 4 cups of water. Cook until your rice is done. Then take out your ginger and pandan leaves and add in 2 cups of coconut milk. Then flop up your rice and cover it again while we prepare the rest of our side dishes. Next, we're going to make 4 to 6 hard boiled eggs and then set them aside. Then we're going to use our food chopper to make our sambal ikan bilis, which is our sambal paste with fried anchovies and peanuts. To make our paste in our food chopper, add 4 cloves of garlic, 1 medium sized red onion or 2 shallots, then give that a pulse. We're also adding 3 fourth cup of our anchovies, then pulse that again until it turns into a paste and then we're going to set that aside. Then in our chopper again, we're going to chop 2 to 3 red long chilies and then 2 Thai chilies or depends on how spicy you like it. Add that to the food processor and then pulse again. We're also going to be adding 1 tablespoon of Bella Chan, 2 tablespoons of sugar, 1 tablespoon of tamarind paste, then pulse this until it's smooth. We then add in 2 tablespoons of oil in our pan and then fry our anchovy paste for about 3 to 5 minutes on medium heat until it's almost dry. Then we're going to add in our chili mixture, then mix it for another 2 more minutes until combined. Then we're going to set that aside. In another pan, put about 4 tablespoons of oil and fry about 2 cups of peanuts until nicely toasted, about 3 to 5 minutes on medium heat to make sure that they don't burn. Transfer to a rack lined with paper towels. Then in the same pan, using the same oil, add 2 cups of anchovies to crisp them up. Toss so that they don't burn as well. Then transfer to a rack lined with paper towel. Our chili paste should be cool enough now and we will toss in 3 4 cup of the fried peanuts and the fried anchovies, then set them aside. Lastly, we will cut some cucumber slices for extra garnish. I'm using a banana leaf to plate this dish. Add about 1 to 2 tablespoons of your sambal ikan bilis on the bottom of your bowl. Then add in your nasi lima and press it on. Then flip it on your plate and garnish with a boiled egg and some cucumber slices. I also added some ayam goreng berampa to my plate. The next video will be on how to make the ayam goreng berampa, so stay tuned for that next week. I hope you like and try this tasty dish. Click like, subscribe, and share my channel for more simple recipes. As always, thanks for watching!